What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'm going to talk about some of the hit indicators and crosshair reticles in Battlefield 2042. A lot of people are talking about will we have as much customization as we have had in the past with being able to kind of design these and make them look and sound like kind of what we want them to. And you know, of course, I was thinking that was going to be something that was pretty much guaranteed considering it has been in several games in the past. But a lot of people are kind of getting worried considering that a lot of the pre-alpha and alpha footage that has leaked and we have seen some of the stuff was not working as intended. And a lot of these questions were asked on Reddit and one of the uh, core gameplay designers went on to Reddit to answer these questions. People were asking, you know, some of the reticles and hit markers and things were not lining up correctly. The hit marker was actually showing below the reticle. Uh, the crosshair was bugged out. Uh, also that the hit indicators and the hit sound when you were, you know, shooting at an enemy, the colors could not be changed. The sounds were not right. Uh, and of course, he went on to say that that was a work in progress from the footage that, you know, they were showing in the, you know, pre-alpha gameplay and that kind of stuff. He says, all that is going to change uh, in the beta and there's going to be much more at launch since those elements, they say for time of kind of at the end of, you know, finishing the game up. So all that stuff kind of, you know, added in at the end. So he said, everything we experience in the beta may not even be the final version of hit indicators and crosshairs that we see once the game is fully released. But I did find it uh, kind of, you know, a, a, a good thing, I guess, that they're already talking about, uh, you know, fixing things within the alpha. You know, because pl players have been seeing some of these issues. Players have been hearing about these issues. And they said there's a lot of different uh, things they're wanting to do with hit and kill indicators, as well as the sounds. So they hope we like what we hear and see at launch. But, you know, we kind of want to talk about a little bit more about some of the different things, you know, we can expect to see by changing the colors of our recticles, changing the you know, the colors of, you know, whether it be a headshot, body shot, whatever the case may be, the kill uh, shot indicator. And of course, from what he's talking about and what he's suggesting, we're not even going to be able to change the hit indicator sound itself. And of course, that has been a thing that Call of Duty has added in over the last few years where you could use the classic kind of hit sound or, you know, whatever particular game it was in at that time, whether it be Modern Warfare or Cold War, uh, they added those different hit sounds in. So it looks like Battlefield is going to kind of go that same direction. But one thing about Battlefield that has always been great is, of course, you can change that reticle color and you also could change those colors for different hits on an enemy when you're shooting at them, which I thought was really great for a lot of people. That way, if there's an enemy a long way away, you can see if you're hitting with the body, the head, whatever the case may be. But it looks like a lot of those issues that were kind of, or people were picking up on within some of this pre-alpha gameplay and things, uh, it looks like those are being addressed. And I'm just glad to hear that DICE is kind of coming out already and talking about addressing some issues that people have concerns with. Because, you know, I made a video a few days ago talking about the game. You know, could it be delayed? Because there's a lot of people saying that some of the pre-alpha gameplay was pretty much just broken. And, you know, they were kind of worried what the beta was going to play like. And, you know, would it kind of turn people off the game, even though it hadn't really, hasn't even really launched yet. And I talked about how DICE and EA are kind of in that state right now. Where they really need to kind of hit this one out of the park for people to be able to, you know, really want to buy the game and hang around. Because over the last several, several years, people have kind of gotten tired of the way Battlefield has been handled and you know content and what the games have kind of brought to the table it's not really been as exciting as some of the other battlefield games and as enjoyable as some of the other battlefield games we played in the past so i am glad to hear you know dice even addressing things about reticles and hit markers it shows they are listening to the community already and really wanting this game to be you know as good as they can get it to be anyway guys let me comment your thoughts of course if you like the video hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so be sure to check out everything down in the description the community discord my twitter and of course the affiliates here on the channel empire jerky and amazon affiliates and i'll catch you all next time peace